Long ago, it was believed that, living creatures originate, spontaneously from the non-living matter. Although there was no scientific theory supporting spontaneous generation, people have developed this concept, by their routine observations, that occur around them. Aristotle, was the first one to record his observations, on spontaneous generation. He described about the formation of maggots, from decaying meat, and, sudden appearance of rats, from stored grains etc. However, his concepts were remained unchallenged, for more than 2000 years. In 1668, Francesco Redi, has first disproved the theory of spontaneous generation. His experiment, has demonstrated, that maggots arise from flies, not from the decaying matter. Later, there were many experiments, and arguments on spontaneous generation. In 1676, after the discovery of microorganisms by Leeuwenhoek, the arguments on spontaneous generation, have taken a new turn. Many scientists, have proposed theories, that supported spontaneous generation for microorganisms, but not for the larger living animals. In 1748, John Needham, had observed microorganisms in heated meat broth, that were not present, at the beginning of the experiment. He concluded that, the bacteria has originated from the meat. At the same time, Lossero Spallanzani, has further improved Needham's experiment. He boiled the meat broth and completely sealed the flask, and the microorganisms did not grow. He concluded, air has carried the germs to the broth, in Needham's experiment. Theodore Schwann, passed the air into a flask containing broth, through a red-hot tube. The broth in the flask, has shown no growth. Simultaneously, in 1850, George Friedrich Schroeder, and Theodor von Dusch, have allowed, air into the flask, by passing it through a sterile cotton plug. No growth was observed. They said, the cotton fibers, have trapped the microbes, from the external environment. The usage of cotton plugs, to avoid microbial contamination, exists, even today. Later, in 1861, Louis Pasteur, has completely disproved the spontaneous generation concept, by his swan neck experiment. Let us go through these experiments. 